Hey, guitar friends, it's Mike. Sasha from Donna Music contacted me and asked me if I wouldn't mind reviewing one of their delay pedals. It's the Wave pedal, and we will get to that in just a moment. But before I get to the review, let's just take a quick look at the Donner website, and you can get there by typing in Donner Deal, D-O-N-N-E-R-D-E-A-L, DonnerDeal.com. And we can see that aside from guitar pedals and guitars, Donner makes keyboard instruments. They have drum and percussion, guitar obviously, guitar pedals, stage equipment, string instruments, wind instruments, and then there's a tab which takes you through all of their product line. But for today's review, as I mentioned, we're going to focus on the Wave Delay pedal. And that would be this pedal right here. And you can see it's $34.99. And if we click the left-hand side, we get various images of the pedal. And it is a mini pedal. It's also available on Amazon. And we see $35.99. It's free shipping with Prime. So let's just take a moment and take a look at the different knobs on the pedal and understand them before we get into the review. At the top of the pedal, there's a two-way selector. Up is the warm delay, which we can refer to as an analog sounding delay. And if you push the selector down, you get a digital delay. And we will take a listen to this in just a moment. Then we have the level knob. And the level knob controls the wet signal. So when it's turned all the way to the right, it's pure effect. If we turn it all the way to the left, there is no effect. The big black knob in the middle is the time knob, and this adjusts the range of the delay. And when I do the demo, we'll take a look at that. The knob on the right is called the F-back or feedback knob, and this knob adjusts how much of the signal is fed back through the effect, creating more echo or delay. At 100% feedback, meaning the knob turned all the way to the right, the signal will continue echoing forever, getting louder over time until the feedback loop turns into noise. And if we turn the knob all the way to the left, the sound or the effect, the delay effect, will die out faster. Okay, so let's do the demo now. And what I'm going to do to get started is I'm going to set everything at the 12 o'clock position and we will flip back and forth between the warm and the digital selection. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so before I get started, as usual with my demos, I always use everyday equipment. So that amplifier there is a Monoprice 15 watt tube amp. I'm not playing through $1,000 amplifiers because most people do not play through those types of amplifiers. And the recording equipment is simply my microphone going through my desktop computer and I believe this gives us a more realistic sound of what this equipment and in this case this pedal will sound like. The amp is set to a clean sound. There is no gain. Okay. The guitar that I'm using is a Gibson Melody Maker with a Seymour Duncan dual rail in the bridge position which is the only position because there's only one pickup in the guitar. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start Here's the pedal, and right now, all the knobs are turned to the 12 o'clock position. The toggle is up, which is the warm or the analog sound, and let's see what we get. So I'll start by playing an A chord. That's with all of the knobs turned to the 12 o'clock position. Let's take a listen again. Again, the toggle is in the up position. All right, so let's now move the toggle down into the digital position. Again, the rest of the knobs are at 12 o'clock. And let's see what we get. Go back up to the analog. Digital. So there is a difference. In the up position, we get that warmer analog sound, which is reminiscent of the 1960s, 1970s. And then when we click down, 
the digital setting, we do get a more delineated delay. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, so let's go back to the warm setting, the analog setting, and let's turn the time knob, that's the big knob in the middle, to the nine o'clock position. And let's see what we get. You can see where the timing is very compressed. If you go back to 12 o'clock, more delay. Let's go to the three o'clock position, turn to the right. See how it's longer and the delay is separated out. Okay, now that's just getting different effects by playing with the big knob, the timing knob. Now let's take a listen to the level setting, setting it to nine o'clock to the left. Everything else is at 12 o'clock. Okay, so again, the level is adjusting how much of the wet sound we're getting. So by turning it down to the left, we're getting less of the effect. Personally, whenever I use delay, I turn the level down because I really want that more subtle, tasteful delay sound whenever I'm playing guitar. I really don't like to oversaturate with effects in general. So if we take the level or the wet knob and we turn it to the three o'clock position to the right, we're going to get more of a signal. Let's take a listen to that. See, the effect is more prominent. Okay, so let's move that level knob back up to the 12 o'clock position and let's take the F back or feedback knob and let's lower that down to the nine o'clock position, meaning to the left, giving it less feedback and let's see what we get. And again, everything else is at the 12 o'clock position. Now let's see what happens when we turn it to the three o'clock position. Again, this is the F back or the feedback knob. So we start to get that noise. That's not something that you're usually going to play with, right? Unless you want some kind of special type of effect when you're playing or if you're recording. Now what I'm going to do, let's play with the knobs a little bit and let's move them all to the 10 o'clock position or thereabouts. And we have the toggle up, which is the warm setting. And let's see what it sounds like. Now let's hit the digital setting, toggle switch down. And you can hear the difference, I can hear the difference. Again, like I said, the digital sound is a bit more crisp, it's delineated some more, and the warm sound, not as much. That doesn't mean it's good or bad, it's really up to personal preference and what you're looking to get out of your guitar uh, depending upon the song you're playing and, and so on. So it's just two different settings and depending upon what it is that you're looking for will depend whether the switch is up or the switch is down. Now let's move everything to the two o'clock position and see what we get. Again, this is going to be the analog setting. And you can see the signal is running into each other. 
Let's do the digital setting now. All right, here we go. So what I'm noticing is the digital setting doesn't run over itself. So we're not getting all of that noise at the end. The analog setting creates that repetitive noise that becomes noisy at the end. Let's try that again. Analog. I'll strum again. See how the signal keeps repeating? And repeating, almost sounding very alien like. <laughs> okay, digital. And you don't get that repetitive signal at the end, which starts to sound like a sci fi movie. All right, so to wrap up the demonstration, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with some gain through the amp. Again, the amplifier is a Monoprice 15 watt tube amp. And I'm going to start with the pedal in the off position and I'm going to play a little pentatonic riff off the A chord. And uh, just so you know, when I get into the um, putting the delay on, I have the level set to about 10 o'clock. The feedback is set to the nine o'clock position, so it's just on a little bit. And the time knob is turned to 10 o'clock as well. Okay, so here's the riff without any delay. Okay, now let's put the delay on and this is the analog setting or the warm setting. The toggle is in the up position and let's see if we can hear a difference. Okay, just very subtle and that's typically how I like to use the delay effect. Very, very subtle. As I mentioned before, I don't like to oversaturate. Okay, so now the same riff, same settings as far as the knobs go, but the toggle is down in the digital position. So let's take a listen. Okay, again, the digital setting has a little more clarity. It's differentiated a bit more than the analog sound. But I'm going to say that for $35, this is a very, very good pedal. The fact that it gives you two options, the warm analog sound and then the digital sound is a bonus in my opinion. And I own a lot of delay pedals and some of the pedals I have are the more upscale pricier pedals. And to be honest with you, this gives those pedals a run for the money. And I'm being very honest with you. Okay, so again, for 35 bucks, it's a great deal. Okay, so that's the review folks. The comment section is open. Have a great day and we will talk soon.